Rescues World and I am Bertie Bear and today I'm going to be doing a story time with Jensen and today's story is Can't You Sleep Little Bear and my name's Bertie Bear did I say that well anyway here we go are you ready Jensen for your story today I hope so uh, so Open it up. So there's the first picture. They seem like they're both outside in the snow. Once there were two bears. There was Big Bear and there was Little Bear. Big Bear is the biggest bear. And Little Bear is the littlest bear. They played all day in the bright sunlight and when night came and the sun went down, Big Bear took Little Bear home to the bear cave. I wonder if it's like the bat cave. So this is home. Let's see? Big Bear put Little Bear in his bed. In the uh, big bear puts little bear to bed in the dark part of the cave. Go to sleep, little bear said. Go to sleep, little bear he said, and little bear tried. Big bear settled in the big chair and read his bear book by the light of the fire, but little bear couldn't get to sleep. Can't you sleep, little bear? asked Big Bear, putting down his bear book, which was just getting to the interesting part. Isn't that always the way? And padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear? asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What's dark, said Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. Big Bear looked and saw that the dark part of the cave was very, very dark. So he went to the lantern cupboard and took out the tiniest lantern that there was. Big Bear lit the tiniest lantern and put it near Little Bear's bed. There's a tiny light to stop you being scared, Little Bear, said Big Bear. Thank you, Big Bear, said Little Bear, cuddling up in the glow. Go to sleep now, Little Bear, said Big Bear, and he padded back to the bear chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. Little Bear tried to go to sleep but he couldn't. Can't you sleep Little Bear yawned Big Bear putting down his bear book with just four pages to go to the interesting bit and padded over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared? Little Bear asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What's dark, said Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. But I brought you a lantern, said Big Bear. Only a teeny weeny one, said Little Bear. And there's lots of dark. Big Bear looked and he saw Little Bear was quite right. There was still lots of dark. So Big Bear went to the lantern cupboard and took out a bigger lantern. Big Bear lit the lantern and put it bes beside the other one. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear. 
He padded back to the bear chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. Little Bear tried and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? grunted Big Bear, putting down his bear book with just three pages to go and padded over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear? asked Big Bear. Uh, I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What's dark? asked Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. Plus I bought you two lanterns, said Big Bear. A tiny one and a big one. Not much bigger, said Little Bear, and there's still lots of dark. Big Bear thought about it and then he went to the lantern cupboard and took out the biggest lantern of them all. With the two handles and a bit of chain, he hooked the lantern above Little Bear's bed. I've brought you the biggest lantern of all, he, he said, he told Little Bear. That's to stop you being scared. Thank you, Big Bear, said Little Bear, curling up in the glow and watching the shadows dance. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, he said, and padded back to the bear chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. <coughs> Little Bear tried and tried and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Can't you sleep, Little Bear, groaned Big Bear, putting down the bear book with just two pages to go and padded over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear, asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark, asked Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. But I brought you the biggest lantern of them all. And there isn't any darkness left, said Big Bear. Yes, there is, said Little Bear. There is, out there. And he pointed out of the bear cave at the night. Big Bear saw the little bear was right. Big Bear was very puzzled. All the lanterns in the world couldn't light up the dark outside. Big Bear thought about it for a long time and then said, Come on, little bear. We, Where are we going? asked little bear. Out, said Big Bear. Out into the darkness, said little bear. Yes, said Big Bear. But I'm scared of the dark, said Little Bear. No need to be, said Big Bear. And he took Little Bear by his paw and led him out from the cave into the night. And it was... And it was dark. Oh, I'm scared, said Little Bear, cuddling up to Big Bear. Big Bear lifted Little Bear, cuddled him and said... Look at the dark, little bear. And little bear looked. I've brought you, I've brought you the moon, little bear, said Big Bear. The bright yellow moon and all the twinkling stars. But Little Bear didn't say anything, for he had. Before uh, Little Bear didn't say anything, for he had gone to sleep, warm and safe in Big Bear's arms. Big Bear carried Little Bear back into the cave, fast asleep, and he settled down with Little Bear on one arm and the bear book on the other, cosy in the bear chair by the fire.
and Big Bear read the bear book right to the end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed Story Time with Jensen. This is me, Bertie Bear, and I will be back soon with another Story Time with Jensen. Um, till then, I want you all to remember that you are all awesome and to be awesome to each other and to have an awesome day and we love you all so, so much and we'll see you all very soon in another Storytime with Jensen.